in television what a show we're having today we're getting lots of amazing reactions gentlemen i've got uh, yusuf washida i've got lean jiro i've got mutegin jow 100 years of history right here and the subject is remembering former president daniel arab moy Maina Kageni, my good friend says those three great media communicators pure legends mutegi was our no-nonsense news editor at nation media groups broadcasting division Lee's professionalism and loyalty is impossible to find today. And Yusuf told amazing stories through his cameras. We salute you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank One man summarizing all three of you. Thank you, man. Anderson Wawero. Yes. yes. He says a big hello. He's oh. watching. Yeah. He's having a great time. KJ. Yes, yes. KJ. Yes. Uh, ridiculous. Mm. ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Was my neighbor for a long time. Uh, yes, he yes, says that. Yes, he in says the same newsroom. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and a girl who worked under you at State House called Carol Kehara. Yes. Says I, a big hello. I, I, I employed her. You employed her. Yes. She says hello and Paula for Mze. Yes. Paula for the loss of Mze. Yes. She says you were a firm but a good boss. Mm. And that's why Mze trusted you. By the way, he did trust you. Huh? Last week. That's what last week, about January 25th, end of January, last week, yes. we celebrated 100 years of Sir Charles Njonjo. That's lunch, birthday lunch, a whole week we were celebrating, 100 years. I heard you in an interview yesterday saying, former President Moy could have been older than Sir Charles. Yes, that's true. We calculate Moy's age this way. If you go to Kapsabet, where he went to school, it is written in ink by the white people mm -hmm. that in 1936, he was given a cow which was in a calf. And he was tasked to drive it to Kapsoa. That is the headquarters of El Rio okay. That is about 100 kilometers away. He delivered the animal and he was paid two shillings. Uh? Two shillings, which he used to buy his first Bible. Mm -hmm. Now, let us do the deduction. Those days, the college could not send on such a mission a man or a boy who was not circumcised. Okay. So he was circumcised. So he has to be over 18. Oh, let's say 16, 18. Again, listen. Let's go slowly. The Togan people, even today, this minute, they do not circumcise anybody who is under 18. So he was over 18. Okay. Another point. He was big bodied in order to challenge any would be molester. Uh -huh. Number four, he had a sense of geography. He knew where he was going. From Kapsabet to Kapsoa. 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 He knew where he was going. Uh -huh. Okay? Yeah. Number five, he was literate. That's why he bought a Bible. Uh -huh. So if he was born in 1924, yeah. as indicated on his ID, yeah. then it would have been 12 years in 1936. Which is impossible. So, that is a primary school kid. Even a kid who is 12 years cannot drive a goat from here to Italy. I have a 12 year old at home. I, I think. Can he drive a goat from here to <laughs> the river? No, probably not. No. no. So, Moy was 18. So, Moy was born around 1917, 1918. Uh -huh. So, would have been what? 103, George, yeah. Charles Giorgio, yes. Sir Charles, he knows when he was born. Because his father was a chief. Correct. You see, Jojo. Yes. He was also an interpreter. Yes. In Narok. Someone like Jeremy Anyaga, who was born in 1920, he knows because his father was a pastor in St. Mark's mm. Kigari, Embu. Mm. But Moi, nobody knows exactly when he was born. Ask Gideon. Gideon announced recently yeah. that whatever age is indicated on Moi's ID, and 10. Add 10. Add 10. So let's say 95 now, plus 10? Yes, 105. Plus so we put it around 102, 103, Three. around there. Wow. Even his son, Raymond, yes. the day before yesterday, yes, he said, said our father is older. Mm -hmm. He has told me, Mzemoy himself, times without number, 
that is about a hundred of a hundred years wow yes okay that's yes. good innings yes. I, I don't want to digress from the topic but yusuf washira was telling me earlier on your very first assignment when you worked for the was it the sunday post or sunday post, sunday post? Yeah. the uk sunday post no the kenyan sunday oh, post. okay yeah. your first assignment was well i had uh, my my editor brian tetley the late brian, brian tetley it's okay yeah, no. it's okay it's okay it's okay yeah who perished in uh niagara with Accident muhammad with amin muhammad. yeah yes coming yes. from comoros. Yeah. comoros over comoros, comoros. Yes. Yes. yes yes had just left a nation and joined the sunday post and sunday post was one of the oldest pre-colonial newspaper it was a sunday paper mm. and the target his target his primary goal at the Sunday Post was to bring it to the same level with the Sunday nation of the other Khan because yeah. it was a bit too conservative and the citizens the Africans were not buying or reading uh -huh. it so the idea was to nationalize it by changing the stories okay. so that was his task so he needed a team of young journalists to inject and achieve this uh, uh, target and there, there I was with uh, people like uh, the late uh, George Obiero, James Kimondo, Blamwell Jorori, yeah, yeah. those pioneers, yeah. And I was a small boy, I just uh, left uh, college, where I took my photographic course. And he told me, after training me how to proofread stories, he would teach all of us how to proofread, how to operate a telephone, and all sorts of things yeah. and he said now i want to start assigning you for field assignment and next saturday is the wedding of uh, uh, charles njonjo the Aton general now it's a very important assignment for you for the newspaper and the whole country because he is the oldest bachelor yes. that yes. we know yes. that we know he correct yeah and then he when was, was also the wedding all saints, 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 all don't come back to this office <laughs> apparently the arrangements here yeah, i am a, i'm a cub yes, i'm a cub a cub, cub yeah. proper yeah. cub yeah. and i am told i'm covering two different people for, in my life jomo kenyatta and the attorney general. and the attorney general yeah but then a queer a, a very queer arrangement no one else is supposed to go in church including the jomo kenyatta the wedding will be done or Jomo Kenyatta will wait outside. That's where the nursery school was at All Saints Cathedral. Mm. That was a, a small opening right. next to the nursery school. Okay. So there was a tent there. Uh, uh, and who was in the church? No, only Njonjo. And, and his Margaret Bryson. Yeah, and a few colleagues. And no one else? No. Uh, that's, uh, it was a private kind of. It was not a national wedding yeah. as per se. Really. Okay. Yeah. So you, were you inside the church or no? No. Even you weren't allowed. Look, Muzek is not allowed in the church, <laughs> neither are ministers. <laughs> who are you? Who, who, who is who is this question? Let's be okay, serious. Okay, did Muzek show Let's be, up? Yes, he did. With with his ministers? Yes. In the tent? Yeah, in the tent. Waiting yeah. for his attorney general to get married? Yeah. Hey. It's a private wedding, so it's a privilege for us to be around, I think. What? Uh, well, that's, that was my first assignment. Okay, so did you get So Muzek? eventually, you get eventually, yeah. we are told, we are, the word comes around that the nearest place we should get is at the stairs as it comes out come the church yes. yeah you take that yes. picture there and that's it my editor had briefed me his picture is not just that one that is picture one but picture two is him greeting his boss oh. the president oh. yes i missed that picture i'm gone so there you are and he came out i got that picture and that was the first time i learned how to take pictures walking in reverse <laughs> Walking backwards, because, because yeah. The police, click, click, yeah, click, because click, the yes. presidential commandant then was uh, Jun, Gino, yeah. who later yeah, became Bernard, Bernard Gino. Yes, Bernard Kerry Gino. Yes. Yes. Gino. He mm. was a very tall gentleman, mm. and he made sure that we remain within mm. 
to very strict uh, terrain. One, we don't cover the president's view. Uh -huh. Right from the yeah, stairs, yeah. yeah. One, two, we do not temple on the VIPs along the way as we move backward. <laughs> so there was me, and then there was uh, uh, Quraysh, uh, as a Quraysh mm. of the nation, yes. as a Quraysh with a backup photographer, Joseph Dungu. Yes. Yes, to make sure no chances eh? yeah and then there was uh, Mohammed Amin himself Mo Amin with two with cameras, six cameras with yeah yeah two cameras yeah, probably six, he's yeah, got yeah. a bollocks for a movie <laughs> yes rolling and he's and got he two, two still cameras uh, yeah and he was and clicking on all of them yeah yeah and he's behind me he's hmm. behind me and he's tall so he's courage wow so um, Dogo was doing the the guests on the other side. Yeah. So from the church, we were moving backward with to, those, the to, to the tent with those two guys. Did you get the handshake? No. That's what, we are going for that, Jeff. So we are reversing. Yeah. And along the way, we forgot that His Excellency Mr. Jomo Kenyatta is behind us. We forgot because of that tension. Yeah. And John just coming towards you yeah, with his Yeah, and Gino, and Gino put a cutoff, which is normal. He put a cutoff that we can't move backward like so. And who is being uh, touched by Gino. You are? No. Mohammed Amin. And I'm in front of Mohammed Amin. So he stopped. Apparently, from that level, he couldn't take pictures of Njonjo. And from that turning, we will need to do behind Mze. Uh, is behind us. And we have to pan right out to get to Mze as Njonjo came in. Yeah. So I, it's kind of, I ended up being uh, in uh, blocking uh, Mohammed Amin. And he hit me. He was quite with uh, his elbow. Yeah, yeah, he hit me so hard, and he's got the camera there, and he's using that weight. He hit me so hard, and I was not expecting. So I lost my balance, and I was almost uh, falling down. And Muse realized, and Muse hit him, and asked, "Why are you pushing my boy?" And Muse didn't know me, and that was it. So there was that clearance, Kidogo, and I had that opportunity. Because psychologically now, I mean, it was finished. So now <laughs> I took advantage of that. You got that. the picture? Yeah. You got the picture? Yes. Wow. First shake. Mr. and Mrs. Meeting George. Head of State. That Brilliant. was it. Brilliant. Brilliant. Lee. <laughs> so. Yes, Jeff. So 42. Okay, before we go to break, real quick, huh? Do you have two minutes? Before uh, 42 years working for this man and so much stress in your life. I mean, you've been fighting all kinds of forces, mm. not just journalists, <laughs> but powers within. Yes. Doesn't that give you ulcers, my friend? I mean, it's got to give you ulcers. Jeff, I want you to listen carefully because I am not given to over repeating myself. Anybody who is a good student of the late Muse Moi, does not get the alusas. He distributes them. <laughs> <laughs> I am a chief distributor of oh, alusas. Nice. I know what you are alluding to. Small boys brought up in the village, yes. playing with a guy who has stayed in the city for half a century. Yeah. Those are people trying to punch above their weight. So you distribute ulcers? I do. You don't give? Or you don't get? What did I tell you? I told you, Jeff, I am not given to over repeating myself. Anybody who is a good student of former President Moy does not get ulcers. He distributes them. I'm the chief distributor of one of us. <laughs> Anybody who plays with me. All right. <laughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> I want to take a quick break. Come back and, and, and ask you, what do you miss most about former President Moy? What do you miss? Think about it. What do you miss? And what will you miss? After 42 years at this man's beck and call, you're going to have to, you're going to miss him a lot, I'm sure, right? Think about it, gentlemen. Think about that as we take a break. And when we come back, we will read your tweets. At Koinanka Jeff at Citizen TV Kenya, the hashtag is JK Live. JK Live takes a break. Plenty more ahead. Stay with us. We're back in a moment.